Five months on from owning the Rupert Neve MBT, how do I feel about it after five months? It's a question I've been asked a few times recently, so I thought I'd do a video on it. Now I've got the MBT down here, and clearly it's still in the studio. It's still in Studio A as well. So we've got one in every studio here. And there's a reason for that, and that's because it is a really, really good unit. Um, the one thing I've learned through using it is where it's best positioned in the in a mastering chain. Now I use it only in mastering. So it is the first unit I run into uh, when going out into the mastering chain. So I hit the mastering chain, first unit is the MBT. And I've tried it in different positions and I've found over a period of time that is the best place for it. And the reason for that is the way that I use it is, is mainly for the silk, super silk that's on it, and the width. The EQ doesn't really get a look in because there's eight other EQs in here. It's not really... It's a good EQ, and you'll use the EQ a lot if you don't have lots of other EQs. But I have eight other EQs it's up against, and they're far better EQs. Um, more flexibility with them. The, the MBT EQ is basically high and low shelf. I don't use it a lot, mainly because the next EQs after it are the Buzz and the 1951 and 1954. So, you know, I'm going to go with those over the MBT. Same with the compression. Um, it's it's an okay compressor that's on it. Um, I would have preferred, if I could change anything on the MBT, I would have much preferred to remove the compressor because from from my perspective, it doesn't get used. <clears throat> from someone else's perspective who is using it as on a mix bus and they're not using it with other compressors, they'll get a lot of use out of it. Um, I would have much preferred to have like what is literally a um, Rupert Neve 542 tape module on there. I would have much preferred tape on there. That would have given me something that I would use a lot. Um, but we have the compressor. It, look, the EQ, the compressor, and the high pass filter are, are, are constantly bypassed for me. So it's it's a very expensive stereo widener and silk, uh, silk, super silk for me. And this is obviously for me and the way I'm using it. And it, that is because of what else is in this chain. The, uh, those three things don't really, they're not required in a little box like that because, you know, there's so many different uh, EQs and compressors after it that are quite honestly better because they're, they're you know, they're a dedicated unit for compression, dedicated units for EQ. And that's kind of the honest answer to what I actually use it for. So it is used as just for stereo width and just for super silk. And it's a very expensive stereo widener and uh, what is second and third harmonic saturation. Um, but that doesn't mean that it's not good. I always intended on it being used for that. And that just goes to show, uh, how much are they? About 3,300 pounds. That just goes to show how good the saturation on that um, with the Super Silk and the Stereo Whip is. And the, the Stereo Whip's just pretty standard. You know, it's nothing amazing. It doesn't do anything um, incredible. I do find it's better than Gemini, uh, the SPL Gemini stereo width. Uh, that the the MBT is a lot better. I, I do prefer it. Um, it's it's different to what's on the Lull. The Lull's Lull's very different, um, but it's it's a very usable stereo width. And how I found best to use the MBT. And again, I I I, I repeat. This is me. This is me working with this mastering chain. This is very different if you're using it over a mixed bus and you're using every feature that is on the MBT. You're going to use everything that's on it if you don't have all of this around you. The, the key features, the Super Silk, for instance, going out into a mastering chain, hitting the MBT, first of all, 
if you've got an overly dull mix, Super Silk using Silk Red brings out rich harmonics in the top end. Brilliant for that. Same again with the low end, if you've got a, a track that hasn't got much weight in it, you can bring that out. What The way I like to use it and the way I see the MBT is it's this unit that kind of brings a, a mix. Because obviously if we're not doing the mixing and we're just doing the mastering, we don't have control over how the client delivers the mix. I see the MBT as, right, I've got quite a dull mix, I'll bring it, I'll, I'll get it up to speed. I'll get it up to, by the time it comes out of the MBT and goes into the mastering chain, it's, it's at a standard where it's rebalanced. If it's dull, it's now nice and bright. If it's um, not got a lot of weight, now it has some weight and we're ready to go into mastering. So I see it very much as that. Um, the same with the width, enhance the, uh, the, the, enhance the track, get some width out of it, get it ready to go out to be mastered basically. And that's how I see the MBT. And um, am I happy that I swapped the MBP for the MBT? Yes, I am because of one feature and that one feature is the Super Silk. Having the ability to do both silk red and silk blue and not having to kind of go oh do i need to brighten it or do i need to add add some lows having <clears throat> having that ability to choose not have to choose between one or the other and being able to apply both that's really good so i you know i'm i'm very pleased with the mbt i'm i'm i it, it's very expensive for what i'm using it for but at the same time, it has its own sound and it's a very, very good sound. It's not like the HG2 over there. It's, you know, it's got this very sweet um, silk textures. These silk textures are very different to what you'll find on most other units. And they're very usable uh, for very specific things. And that's why I use it at the start. I find it a very clean way of adding what is these silk textures adding high frequencies had adding lows adding weight doing all of that the mbt is a very very good unit for that and like i say is the best place i found for it in a mastering chain is right at the start of the chain first thing you go into i've had it up the end i've had it in the middle i've had it everywhere else this is this is the place that it will always stay and yeah i am i'm pleased with the mbt and I don't, I can't see myself swapping it out anytime soon. The only time I would swap it out is maybe if Neve came out with a dedicated silk box. And this is, I've been calling for this for, for years. It's just all it's about is, is applying these silk textures. Nothing else. Don't want EQ, don't want compressors, don't want um, tape, whatever don't want anything else other than just give me silk give me silk textures even even like a mid band as well give me give me like low high and mid and just give me all these different textures that i can then start kind of applying and that would i could i could lose i could lose the stereo widener it's great to have and it's really good but i could i could happily lose that all that box is for me is pretty much silk and many of you may sit there and say, well, you know, you paid 3300 for a box that just does silk and you're not using, uh, you're only using, what, 20% of the, what the unit's capability of, uh, capable of. And uh, I'd say, yeah, that's, that's how it's being used for me. And that's only because there's all these other pieces of equipment surrounding it in this mastering chain that are, quite honestly, de they're dedicated units so that they are better. So yeah, that's my opinion on the MBT. Very, very, very good. And you will use it very differently. Like if if you're using it for mixing purposes, um, you know, stick this on a drum bus, you know, it's going to be incredible. You're going to get a great sound out of it. Um, I still feel it's a far better unit than the um, SSL Fusion, but the SSL Fusion, you know, that's that's a good unit in its own right. It's very fairly priced. Uh, like 1600 here in the UK and you know you get the mid side insert on it which is brilliant um, 
you know, both are very good units, but that's another video on the SSL Fusion versus the MBT. And yeah, MBT, I'd recommend it to anyone. It's, it's, it's expensive, it's not cheap, but it's, it's very good. And if you're gonna use it like I am for just the silk textures, it's, it's an expensive option. But if you're gonna make use of the compression, the EQ, and this all comes down to where, what else you have in the chain, whether you're gonna actually use that, highly recommend it. And yeah, after five months of having it, I'm, I'm still as pleased with it as, as the day I got it.